Okay. Get in here real quick. Yes, Master. How may I serve you? <laughs> Did you know that Nikola Tesla was the smartest man that ever lived? Uh, no, Master. I didn't know that. Where did you get this information? It's all over everywhere, but specifically I got it from this YouTube video from this channel called Bright Insight. It features this guy named Jimmy and he is really, really smart. I don't think he's a very reputable source, Master. Are you sure? Oh yeah, listen to this. Never mind that Nikola Tesla was probably the smartest person to have ever have lived. Never mind that 80% of all of your technology is because of him. Never mind that almost every single electronic item or anything you have that plugs in or charges is a direct result of his works and achievements and inventions. Never mind that he could speak eight languages or that he had 700 patents from around the world or that the electric motor, your radio, remote controls, lasers, limitless free energy potentially, and the alternating current are all a result of his works. And yet most people aren't even aware of him. Did you hear that? Nikola Tesla was the greatest man that ever lived. Why? He invented unlimited free energy. I don't think that's actually a thing, Master. No, it is. And it's being suppressed by the man. They're keeping it a secret so that they can keep us addicted to oil. Are you sure about this, Master? It, it sounds like it violates the laws of thermodynamics. That's exactly what they want you to believe. Who are they? What are you talking about? Have you been doing drugs again, Master? Uh, no? Okay, good. Well... I think I should do us both a favor and go through this and try to figure out if this is true or not. Good, I can't wait for you to get red pill, DA. The only pill I'm gonna need is aspirin for after all my brain cells burn away. Wow, what a bright insight. want the masses to be essentially just sheep that fall in line and don't think for themselves and lack creativity so that way the powers that be, the Illuminati or whatever you want to call them, uh, can just maximize the experience of their earthly existence. Oh my god. I can't believe we're actually going to do this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Citation, please? You see, Jimmy, if you want to go around claiming a worldwide conspiracy against, uh, I don't know, whatever it is you're trying to claim. I'm just gonna call it the magic of Nikola Tesla. You're gonna have to come with some actual evidence. Because you just can't claim Illuminati and uh, not support it with any actual facts. I am kind of jumping around in your video a little bit, so let me give you a chance to explain yourself here. When I say evidence, I would say more of qualifying evidence rather than quantitative. But if you're not aware, Tesla, despite all of his achievements, died poor and shunned at the age of 86. And when he died, less than two days later, the United States government raided his hotel room and took absolutely everything out of it. All of his works, his everything. And who knows what they did with it. They claim that they gave everything back to his family later on uh, in Europe, but nobody knows for sure what they took. Now, with all this being said, and there's many other things I can mention about him, like x-rays or spark plugs and everything else that is in our lives today can be credited at their root because of the works of Tesla. But I have to stop there because I can keep going on about that. The most important achievements that he had wasn't necessarily the death ray that is believed that he had created, that his works are probably the result now of some incredible top secret weapons of mass destruction that have been utilized or have been created, I should say, by the United States government, which a lot of people are interested in. People are fascinated by what it was that Tesla had figured out that was that made the United States government so eager to take his stuff. 
And obviously, limitless free energy is one of them because the powers that be don't want limitless free energy. I don't even know where to begin. Um, first, there is no such thing as unlimited free energy. I don't know who told you that or what makes you think that, but it's impossible. You see, the second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of a closed system tends towards a maximum. So, in a closed system, let's say a battery, you can never get more energy from it than what you put in. In fact, in a battery, you can't even get that. There are many reasons for this, but the easiest to understand is heat loss. Every time you heat the battery by one degree Kelvin, you lose one joule of energy, and one joule equals one watt second. Now there is a source of unlimited free energy. It's called the fucking sun. And from our perspective at least, it's an unlimited supply of energy. But it's not free. The sun consumes roughly 600 million tons of hydrogen per second, producing 384.6 yoda watts of power. Whereas the entire human race only consumes 132,000 terawatts per year. You also claim that Nikola Tesla was the smartest guy that ever lived, but that's not true. Nikola Tesla's IQ was around 200, but the smartest person to have ever lived was Aynan Celeste Cowley, who was born in 1999 in Indonesia with an IQ of 263 which is roughly 30% higher than Nikola Tesla's IQ. Now, you also claim that Nikola Tesla has over 700 patents, but he actually has around 300 credited to his name. And a lot of these are redundant or derivative of his previous works. For instance, he has a electromagnetic motor but also a method of operating that electromagnetic motor. So when we take that into account, he has around 75 patents. Now that's still a huge amount, and I'm not trying to diminish his accomplishments. I'm just trying to point out the discrepancies between what you say and what is actually true. Yeah, but he invented AC power, didn't he? Well, actually, Master, that's completely not true. Tesla did invent the induction motor, which runs on AC, also called the dynamo. But AC power had been around since the early part of the 19th century. Now, Tesla is credited for inventing the radio, and he's also credited with the first X-ray photograph. But even Tesla says that that was something he discovered purely by accident. Really, in my opinion, Tesla's greatest contribution to our world was his ability to visualize rotating electromagnetic fields in his mind, um, which is something that is very hard to do. Uh, now, take me. I'm an enthusiast electrical engineer. I'm a software engineer, but I, I like to study electrical engineering. And just visualizing how, how electromagnetic fields work is very difficult. And that's because they have two perpendicular axes, which need to oscillate perpendicular to each other. Then you have to account for alternating currents switching directions, thereby changing the north and south poles. It was Tesla's ability to visualize this that led to his greatest achievements. However, none of these achievements were the laser. It would have been very hard for Nikola Tesla to invent the laser, seeing as how it wasn't patented until 1958 by Charles Townes. Uh, Tesla had been dead for over 15 years at that point, making it very hard for him to have contributed to such a device. So I don't know where you're getting this information, but it's completely false. And this seems to be a reoccurring theme with you. You're the type of person that takes whatever shred of evidence you can find and twists it to fit the narrative that you want to tell. It's disgusting. 
And that is why I consider you to be a complete slime ball. You are on par with people like Joseph Smith and Alex Jones. You use people's gullibility and their natural wonder against them to sell your disgusting worldview. And I am not going to let you get away with it. Was Tesla a great inventor? Absolutely. Was he a f complete fucking wootard? Absolutely. Nikola Tesla didn't believe in nuclear power. Nikola Tesla believed that he could trans power wirelessly throughout the world. This is retarded. This is the dumbest way that you could transmit power. What this basically amounts to is a giant freaking arc of electricity being dispersed throughout the whole entire atmosphere, wasting trillions of electron volts. Contrary to what you may think, this is not free energy. This is actually the opposite of anything that makes sense. And it is far more inefficient than even AC power, which is nowhere near as efficient as DC power. You see, AC power travels across the skin of the conductor, whereas DC power travels throughout the whole entire wire. When AC power is transmitted, tons of it is lost just straight to the air. Just like Nikola Tesla's wireless transmission would have done. This is not some conspiracy by the Illuminati. This is basic fucking economics. What logical sense does it make to generate all that power just to lose it all in the atmosphere? It makes about as much sense as Atlantis being in the middle of fucking Africa. Which is another one of your dumb fucking theories, you fucking retard. It's people like you that make it very hard for people who challenge the status quo to be taken seriously. Because you don't understand basic fucking physics and basic economics. So because of your incredulous ignorance, there must be some shady group of unnamed people just destroying what you think must be true. Well, did it ever occur to you that you're fucking wrong? On every possible level. Wrong, 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 wrong. Categorically, unequivocally, scientifically wrong. On every single point. And this is coming from somebody who takes great pleasure in challenging the status quo. I'm not a conformist. I am not a shill. I'm a fucking weirdo just like you. But unlike you, I am not a fucking moron. And your bullshit is impeding my work. Huh. Well, I guess I was on drugs then. Join us again soon when we take on more fucking morons. I'm Big D. And I'm DA. Now go fuck off.